Hey YouTube, it's Brooks here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are new. Today's video is going to be another recreation video because I did um, a Tyra Banks recreation video like a few months ago, so make sure to check that out. But today I am going to be doing a Leah. Here is the picture that I am recreating. Um, this one is going to be more chill. I'm not really going to do the outfit. I'm just doing like the hair and the makeup. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I just looked at the picture because I wanted to get it in my brain so I can remember everything that I need to do. But it's like not that it's not gonna be hard because one, I love Aaliyah, like I know her style, I know what she like looks like. Her makeup is very natural, like it's not heavy makeup at all. And yeah, if you guys do not know, Aaliyah was a very popular singer in like the late 90s, early 2000s, and she really shaped like Y2K. She like made it, but I am going to be just doing my hair and makeup, so don't mind the shirt. But if you guys do want to know where the shirt's from, I got this thrift shopping at Salvation Army. It's Victoria's Secret though. It's like cheetah print. But that's besides the point. Let's get into the makeup. So for before I put any makeup on my face, I use this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer because we do not need any pimples showing up at all. And I have very sensitive skin, y'all, so pimples be trying to show up for the smallest thing. I be watching um, makeup like tutorials on YouTube, and they be putting like heck of primer on their face, like a lot. And I be like, mm, I don't be putting that much on, but my face just can't handle a lot of stuff you know so i try to go like as light as possible but yeah y'all i wanted to have a topic to talk about because i didn't want to just do my makeup like that's boring though so let me do a little quick story time for you guys as i do this so we're gonna do the story time of how me and my best friend almost got caught skipping school by her stepdad. Um, yeah, this happened a year ago. I was a junior in high school, and I would just like to say anyone in school, please do not skip. This was just a once in a lifetime thing that we wanted to do together, but it started off with, we actually planned on going to school, like we both woke up early, we planned to go to school. But as I was walking to school, I was calling her and she was still at home. So it was like, bro what are you still doing at home we gotta go to school and she was just saying like i don't know i'm so tired i don't think i want to go and you know i was gonna like i i want her to be at school she makes the day so much better but i was thinking like bro let me just go to your house but then it was like a 30 minute walk because like from my house to her house it's probably like 15 minutes but from the school to her house it was like half an hour so she was basically giving me directions because one, it was early, and two, I never know where I'm going. Um, oh, by the way, I am using this um, translucent powder as like my base because, I, like I said, very natural. But okay, so I was walking to her house, 30 minutes away, and she met me halfway because, bro, I was like, just come meet me halfway so I don't get lost. So we went in her house. And we had a fun day. Like I did her makeup, um, we played games, we were just being best friends, right? So she was like, are you hungry? And me being me, I was like, yeah. So she made me a sandwich or whatnot. And then we were just listening to music and dancing. And then I remember I had this video on Snapchat like moments before everything went down. And we were just on Snapchat like recording ourselves dancing or whatever. And then all of a sudden, I hear this, I hear this door, like the door, like unlocked. And it wasn't the front door, it was the garage door. Because they used the garage to get in the house, so I was like, oh my gosh. So you could really hear it because it was really close to where we were. So I was like, wait, pause it. Because at first I was just going to let it go. I was going to just be like, oh, maybe it was just something. But I was like, no. I was already on edge, so I was like, no, I'm about to tell it. So I was like, was that the door? And all of a sudden we hear it open. So bro, my quick instincts went in. I wasn't gonna stand there and look stupid, what? No. So I went to the pantry, cause their pantry was like, you know, you could walk in. I went in the pantry, shut the door and I was quiet. She didn't have time to do that. So um, she stayed out, but it was like, she was just like, oh, I woke up late. 
and I decided not to go because by this time it was like um 12 o'clock or something it was like almost noon and we get out of school like like an hour after that so she was just like oh I, I woke up late and I decided not to go but then he was still like no you need to go just get ready so she was like okay now at first I thought she was going to leave me I thought I was going to be in this house and I was going to have to leave by myself but I was just hearing everything and he wasn't like quick to leave like he was sitting down eating so I was like I'm gonna be in this pantry for a long time bro and all I can think about was my phone going off so I made sure to get my phone turn it off because I did not need any of that soft stuff happening to me like I watch too many scary movies to get caught lacking so I was just in the pantry being I was literally covering my mouth like I was so on point but I was worried he was gonna go in the pantry to get something and then all of a sudden I hear him say he wants some water the water is by my feet. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get caught, here we go. So I see the door opening, but it's her. And I'm ducking down so he doesn't see me. So I'm just like, oh my God, I was gonna have a panic attack, bro. I was like, my anxiety is just too much right now. So she gets the water and gives it to him. So then he goes upstairs. So I'm like, let me get out of this pantry. So she opens the door, she told, tells me to go upstairs, but he's upstairs too. So I'm trying to not make a lot of noise, but I go to her closet. Now I feel a little bit like cool now. Cause I'm like, okay, he's not gonna go in her room, in her closet. Like <clears throat> that's just, that's just too good to be true if that happens. So I felt a little bit comfortable, but then I was starting to put on my shoes and my jacket because we were have planning to leave because she was like, okay, I'm gonna go to school now or whatever. So. I was putting on my stuff. Okay, I blended that in a lot, but this is my base, bro. So we were on our way out. Like like I said, I was running downstairs, but I wasn't trying to make a lot of noise. So um, I went downstairs and she followed behind me. I was gonna go out the front door, but then I remembered that she doesn't, um, they don't use the front door. So that would have been weird to him. He would have been like, why are you using the front door? So then oh, she stopped me just in time. Cause I was nervous, bro. Like I knew they did the, took the garage, but I was so, nervous so i went out the garage and i started running i didn't even wait for her to close the garage i ran to the front and i was like i'm i'm gone because i didn't need him seeing me from a window or anything bro i was not trying to get caught okay right now i'm gonna use this um eye pencil but let me sharpen it i'll be back and as i was saying i was like i'm gonna run like you know i'm not trying to get caught so we both ran together because he was gonna leave so she was afraid that he was gonna be driving and he was gonna see her like me and her together and realize that i was at the house because she thought that he knew i was there already and but he didn't say anything but i mean i feel like i was pretty like i feel like i was pretty quiet i didn't make noise like i thought he got away plus he probably would have said something if he knew but if he did i he didn't say anything about it but we ran we were going through like communities and houses and stuff because we were just like so freaking scared like i was saying we were so scared so we just started running and then we didn't even really go back to the school because school was literally getting out in like a couple of minutes so we just went to a park and yeah that was pretty much it bro i feel like when i tell stories i get so into it that i forget what i'm doing like girl you're supposed to be doing your makeup but like that's that's the that story me and my best friend were ditching and almost got caught and that was a life lesson and we never did it again but <laughs> right now y'all i'm gonna do my eyes i seen in the picture her eyes were kind of like very like um what can i say like slanted or whatever but i don't know because i don't know if i want to go like on top or on the bottom we just gonna figure it out i need this light to be closer though get good lighting huh? no Okay, we're just gonna do this, bro. But yeah, y'all, I am very focused on really school. Um, I have a boyfriend now. I don't know if anyone wanted to hear that, but we just started dating. Uh, today is actually our one week anniversary. So that's exciting. Um, I really, honestly, bro, like would never see myself with like, I don't want to say like someone like him, but I'm just such a quiet girl. Like at school, I really don't talk to anyone but my friends. So, and he's like very outgoing and has like a lot of people he talks to. So I'm just like, bro, I'm so quiet. Like, how would you even notice me like that? Like not notice me, like I think I'm like ugly and no one would ever want to date me, but notice me like I don't talk, like we don't interact at all. Cause let me actually tell y'all 
how we met. So I have this friend and we're gonna call him, we're gonna call him Pencil. So I have this friend named Pencil. I'm gonna call my boyfriend Mirror. So I was in the office because I got called from my dance, my dance class. So I went to the office and um, I was leaving. So I seen Pencil and I was like, hey, and we basically just interacted. And I seen Mirror right sitting next to him, but I didn't think anything of it because I didn't know him. So, and I'm quiet, I'm not gonna introduce myself. So I just left. And all of a sudden I hear Pencil call like out to me. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Cause lunch was finna start. So I wasn't like really in a rush to go back to dance cause lunch was about to start anyway. So I was kind of walking slow, but he called out to me. And so I turned around and I was like, oh my gosh, what is about to happen? Cause I seen Mira right there next to him. But then Mira was all like, <clears throat> what's your name? I told him my name. Do you have a boyfriend? I was like, no. He was like, why? You're so pretty. And then I started freaking blushing bro like i'm so like easy to just make blush i don't know why but i was like thank you and then we just kept walking and then he got my instagram and whoop, and they basically just walked we walked downstairs back to like the dance area like in front of my dance class because i was in college start and then we just started talking bro about literally nothing and i can tell that he liked me like it wasn't hard to tell like you asked me if I had a boyfriend, you asked me my Instagram, so it was easy. So from that point on, I was like, I got him. Like, I know. Like, and he was really attracted to me. Like, I was like, oh, he's cute. I will give this a chance. Because I'm usually a person that never gives anyone a chance. Like, I complain about being single, but I reject everyone that ever tries to hit on me. But it's because we're picky. We got, we don't give ourselves to anyone, literally. We're like a prize. I always use the example you know, if you see like a very expensive coat in like a store, you're like, I'm gonna work hard to get that. I'm gonna get, save up all the money and I'm gonna get that coat. But if you see like something at a Dollar Tree, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get that real quick and then I'll go back again and I'll get another one, basically that. I'm trying to be the coat, not the thing at the dollar store. So ladies, make yourself worthy. Don't be just going after just anyone because they show you attention. Like, know your worth, period, point blank, know your worth. But I did the eyes, I kind of did like a little wing look. I want to go like more though, so let me actually do a deeper one. I'm going to do this real quick, y'all, because if I keep talking, I'm going to take a long time. You won't even see the eyes well. All right, so I did the eyes kind of like more thicker, but she's gonna she's wearing glasses in that picture, so we won't even see the eyes that much. But I just wanted to get it as close as possible. So her lips were very like glossy, so I'm gonna use my lip combo real quick. So I have this NYX Lip Luster, like basically like a lip tint in a way, so it's very magenta, but I the brush broke off, so you'll see how I've been using it. Literally putting it on like this very ghetto but guess what yo that's you gotta fake it till you make it because if you don't you'll never get there that was very corny of me to say but hey okay it's all right bro all right so um i just gonna put that on there it really gives my freaking lips like such a cute color i love it and then i have just this lip gloss by covergirl very sparkly and shiny and i wear this like every day and i seen it on ali and i was like oh my gosh i can use it so you see that that gloss yeah that's that's what we're going for so <clears throat> we have the hair and all like the accessories are going to put it together but i just noticed that her her um her eyes her eyes had eyeshadow on it, but I don't own eyeshadow, unfortunately. I am trying to save up for one. Not like a really big one, because I don't use it at all. If anything, I'd use it to like experiment. I wouldn't use it to um, actually wear. But I'm gonna just blend this out so it kind of looks like there's some type of 
um, eyeshadow on there. Y'all, this is not a tutorial. None of my recreation videos or tutorial. I just be winging it, bro. I swear. I just wing it. All right, blend that. Blend that in. Very, you know, okay. So her hair was wrapped up in a scarf, so the top really doesn't matter. We're really just gonna focus on the bottom part, but I still wanna make sure my parts are clean. But if it isn't, like I said, it's not a big deal because she's wearing a literal bandana in here. Y'all, I wanna learn how to put in tape in extensions. When I take this hair out, I might do a video where it's like me trying out, um, not tape-ins, clip-ins. Tape-ins scare me, I would wait off for that. Clip-ins though, because I've been trying to do um, hairstyles that really protect my hair, because I hate like manipulating it a lot. That's why I always wear protective styles. I don't like doing like um, ponytails that tug on my hair or whatever, but it's been growing a lot. I've been seeing like a difference, so it's always a good thing. But I am just brushing this hair out so it looks very straight and clean. And then um, let's see how this, wait, let me just brush it down. Y'all look at this brush, this is so cute and it matches my shirt, it's so cute, it's so adorable. But um, we're gonna put this scarf on. Um, let's see y'all, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert on scarf tying, so we're just literally gonna see how this goes. I got it to the best of my ability. Um, there's a scarf there, as you can see. Um, and she had hoop earrings, so I'm gonna put in these handy dandy hoops that I got. Uh, let's put them. And I live for Aaliyah's looks. Like, her looks are so cute and comfortable. Like, you can just tell whatever she's gonna wear, she's gonna feel comfortable in. And if she's not, then it's a problem. Oh my gosh, bro, I hate when these earrings do that, it's like so annoying. All right, so we got the hoops in. And now for the glasses she was wearing. I got these glasses off of Shein. I got Shein. I got these hoops off of, not off of anything. I got these at the beauty supply store. And I also got this off of Shein. But this is the final look, y'all. Is it giving Aaliyah? Um, I don't mess with my eyebrows. I know in her picture her eyebrows are a little bit thicker, but I just like my how the way my eyebrows look, so we are just gonna go with the flow. But this is the picture and this is me, so hopefully this looks like this looks really good. I really think I, I did my thing on this one. The glasses are giving, the hair is giving, it's just giving. I'm really feeling myself proud. Right, yeah, it's really cute. But yeah, this is the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.